afternoon this is Adam from Red Inc. just wanted to take another video of a property well that we put in about oh I'd say probably about six or eight months ago this is a constant pressure well system where there's actually this is the whole well equipment space it's just this two feet in diameter tube that holds a pressure tank and as the demand for water increases the pump that's buried or that's not buried but that's actually in the casing 200 feet down uh, starts to ramp up in frequency and comes up to as high as uh, 60 hertz as the the water demand uh, increases the pump will spin build pressure to maintain a given pressure for the demand and then uh, run continuously but on a variable frequency drive so this is a, a pentair intellidrive controller that could be adjusted here it's got a little display and it'll maintain um, we have this set here at 70 pounds but it'll maintain a pressure that you whatever you set it at and it'll constantly maintain that pressure um, going going forward so this is a kind of a more expensive setup uh, a little bit a little bit nicer if you're going to be using a lot of faucets a lot of fixtures this well is about 285 feet deep It'll produce 18 gallons a minute continuous flow at an inch and a quarter a diameter pipe output at 70 pounds, uh, which is quite a bit of water, way more than you'd probably need for a, a home. And um, the other nice part about this is that you don't have any overhead associated with keeping the well house warm. So in the wintertime, uh, you have just this, uh, this post here. So if you're in a, a winter climate, you should have no problem... Um, maintaining a frost free design this area here we're in uh, actually in washington state the frost line's only about 18 inches down so this uh has no no issue maintaining a frost free protection and what i do um, you can see in here there's a connection there to go to the home and we're still in the construction phase of this place so it's not really finalized and that's why you see that red red cord there's just running temporary power it's a 220 uh, volt system uh, runs on uh, 12 amp or at about 12 I think the max draw would be at 12 amps so you have a double 20 amp breaker to su supply the, the load here um, so the other the other piece here you see um, any well any commercial commercial well or water well you actually you'll see an ID tag on that that steel casing there that's required by the state to let you know that this is a water well and uh, that it's been tested and certified ready for use potable water pretty good water around here so what I usually do in the this scenario I'll put some pieces of extra styrofoam polystyrene insulation in just to give you an extra little bit of protection put those two in there and then this lid will go on and seal up pretty much and seal the well equipment space off so that you have no issue with uh, with that so you'll take another look around here you'll see just a regular switch type area it's been inspected yeah we we'll have to have all your electrical equipment inspected after installation this well system is a little bit more expensive than a normal pressure tank type system and the demand for electricity is a little bit lower in that respect because it's a variable frequency drive three phase motor normal pump um, and you'll use actually less electricity to run that pump because it doesn't run it only runs on demand so uh, lower amounts of amperage i.e. lower amounts of kilowatts because if you do the power conversion there you're actually producing or you're running a less less load on the system with this type of uh, setup the benefit here of this house that's going to be built here is going to be about six bedrooms uh, five or six bathrooms and it's going to have um, 
a big kitchen, lots of lots of appliance, water appliance loads. So you want everybody to be able to take a shower at the same time and not have to worry about running out of water. So that's the desire and the des design of the system that allows you to do that. Uh, this this well had a long and expensive story in that the first drill bit we used to drill this well, we actually got stuck about 20 feet down, and that was actually over around here, um, and that drill bit got stuck in a, between the two rocks, and then we had to actually abandon that hole and abandon the drill bit. We couldn't get it back out. Another $15,000 later, we had a new drill bit flown from, uh, from an area just north of here, and uh, we started drilling the hole a little bit further to the right, and finally got the well down. Ended up having to go down, like I said, about 285 feet into the ground to uh, to get water at that flow rate that we needed because we needed uh, about 18 gallons a minute to meet the requirements for our home. The average well cost for something like this uh, will run you around in this area 12 to 12 to 19 thousand dollars depending on how deep you end up having to go. Uh, the additional cost for having a constant pressure system vice a normal pressure tank will run you another 1500 to $2,500 on top of the normal cost. And that really comes into buying this variable frequency drive motor controller by Pentair, and then also getting the correct three-phase motor that couples to the pump. So the pumps are sold independently of the motors, and then the motors are sold independently of the motor controllers. And for a three-phase type motor, you need to get this variable frequency drive to operate that motor. I don't have a three-phase commercial electric service here. I just have normal... Uh, 240 volt residential service and that's a that's plenty enough to run a variable frequency drive to operate that motor and uh, subsequently that well pump and you could kind of see the substantial cost savings associated with not having a well house having to be built uh, that'll cost you another fifteen to two thousand dollars just to buy the material i would think and then plus the construction time to actually build it uh, so once that's done and then the winter time heating overhead you're going to need to run electricity to run a heater there. But with this constant pressure system, there's no additional cost to running any heating. If you really were concerned, you probably could put a little bit of heat tape inside that, that tube. Maybe a couple feet of it would be all you need and uh, easily keep that tube well above uh, 40 degrees throughout the winter. Um, but in this area, not really of concern. In the northeast, if you were uh, you know up in the Connecticut area or uh, Maine, then you might consider... A little bit different design in that scenario most the, most of the homes have basements so all this well equipment would be put in the basement and uh, in that scenario you would have that pressure tank that i showed you there that tiny little pressure tank and that variable frequency drive motor controller in the basement and that's all you'd have you'd have almost no footprint taken up in a home if you wanted to put this system in a, a normal basement of a home so that's uh, that's kind of the, the summary there uh, highly recommended. This was put in uh, by a, a local well drilling company. Uh, they did a great job. The waiting list in this area is actually about four or five months long to get a well drilled. So we started this process well back in the um, middle of 2018. The well ended up getting drilled in November. And then by the time the system got installed and we got a well water sample done, it was mid-January. Um, and it took, it was a, it was a process, but I uh, don't regret any of it. And I, uh, absolutely highly recommend a constant pressure system. I think every other home that we build will be a constant pressure well, uh, system for that. And then for, especially for the larger homes, if you're going to be doing five or six bathrooms, everybody's going to be showering at the same time type deal, then this is basically the only way to go. So we'll change the grade here. You'll kind of see this crushed concrete. We usually bring that in to start our bases and driveways. But once that's um, once we, we're done with the construction here, we'll, we'll grade this off and pave it. And this actually will become uh, grass, actually, in this area, so it's not going to be paved. But we'll, um, you know, the only thing you're going to see is the steel, the wellhead there, and then that motor controller and everything uh, will get moved to the basement of... Uh, actually, not the basement, but there's a mechanical room in this house. The basement's going to be finished. It's not really going to be a normal basement house. But this is a setup to show you what a temporary well site hookup is with a constant pressure system. And that allows me to build this house over over the year, because it usually we're for something this large, it's gonna be a 6,500 square foot home. Uh, it's gonna need, a, it's gonna, we're gonna be here probably almost a whole year doing the construction and uh, installation of it. So understand the perspective here and understand what the goal is with this well set up. And um, yeah, so if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. 
And we appreciate all of your feedback, any comments or concerns or questions. Uh, please um, definitely don't hesitate to, to leave them in the, the comment section below. And until next time, thank you for watching uh, Rad Inc. Just do the thing.